So my wonderful, wonderful family came to my rescue yesterday and spent eight hours on my yard helping me. My daughter, my daughter-in-law, my oldest grandson, and some of my little grands. And it's amazing what all they got done, if, especially if you'd seen it beforehand. Just incredible difference. Love it. These are three Valdosta right in a row. I absolutely love Valdosta. Seems to have really good nematode resistance. Grows fast, roots easily. It, they make a gorgeous tree with really pretty leaves and delicious big fat fruit. So Valdosta was, I um, believe, found in Georgia and um, just fruits and exotics introduced it. And these two that are right here, I just stuck sticks in the ground and they grew. So, very delicious mulberry. And burnt the burn pile. And then cleaned up so much over here. It's just so exciting. Got all of this weed eated down. Now, I bought this stuff that was supposed to be sand dune sunflower that is native to Florida. And no, uh, um, it's, I can't remember the name of it. It, start, it ends up being something that starts with a W. You cannot get rid of it. And I wouldn't care because it's real pretty. It puts on a really pretty little yellow flower, but it, it climbs up the trees. It climbs up into them and chokes them out. So I'm not loving it, but they, I just, I don't think there's any way to get rid of it. it runs across the ground. You can see all the... It just runs everywhere. So, yeah. Not a good one. See, it's all up into the fig there. But we did lots of stuff. Not really we. I'm, I'm going to say I did more micromanaging with the little seven and nine year old with weed eaters <laughs> than anything but we had a good time and got so much done it's just exciting i got a couple of more couple more mulberries planted the sweet deliciouses that i say is the best i've ever had got two of those planted got a couple of roses planted i'm really gotten into different roses loving my roses all down this line. David Austin roses, old Florida roses that need no care at all, no water. They just thrive. All right, I just wanted to show you and um, my Pakistani mulberries are just absolutely loaded down. I don't know if you can see them. Just loaded every branch all up in there. You can't hardly see the leaves for the fruit. Super exciting. And this one's the Ellie Cook. And I really need to cut it way, way back, but every time I start to do that, it's loaded with fruit, and so I wait. But yeah, it's probably 25 feet tall. But the thing with um, Pakistani mulberries is that the, the fruit drops so easily that I'm not going to have to worry about trying to get up there to get fruit because every day the slightest wind and you're going to have to check the ground for a hundred pieces of fruit because that's where you're going to find most of your ripe fruit is on the ground because I it just drops so easily. Doesn't matter if they're super loaded, you don't really get to eat in comparison to how much fruit's on the trees. This is also Pakistani. And I did cut that one back. It doesn't ever do real well. This one I got from Burnt Ridge, I believe. And it just doesn't do that great. And then this one is from Dave, um, Dave Wilson Nursery. So I got it from Ellie Cook's Nursery, Bare Root. They shipped them. 
but it's just absolutely loaded too. Beautiful tree. But again, if you don't check the ground every day, you're gonna miss out on over half of your fruit. But it is absolutely loaded. I hope I can get a good picture because it is just absolutely loaded up. Super exciting. There is thousands of mulberries and I love this mulberry. A lot of people will come here and they think it's way too sweet. It tastes like grape jelly. It's the sweetest mulberry next to um, Australian green. Just delicious. Tastes like grape jelly and once in a while if you get them a little early, they taste like raspberry jelly. But love my Pakistani mulberries. All right, have a great day. Plant lots of fruit trees. Central Florida is on 9B and we get about 100 chill hours.